Is it 2 o'clock yet? Yes. All right. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Chef Todd Moore. I'm from webcookingclasses.com. I empower the entire world to cook in a very strange way because it's unbelievable what people have done to cooking in this world. Cooking is a competition, right? You get eliminated. You get voted off. <laughs> Chefs are allowed to make you cry, right? She when I owned my cooking school, people would come to me. The first thing that they would say is, are you going to make us cry? I'd be out of business in 10 minutes if I made people cry. There might be a small masochist community that, that enjoyed it. But this is a TV show. And this is the problem with our cooking. So I'm here to tell you that you can cook absolutely anything you want with only five ingredients. You can cook everything you want with only five ingredients. These are five very special ingredients that nobody else is going to tell you about. Food TV is not going to tell you about it. Cookbooks are not going to tell you about it. They are going to get you to watch more food TV and buy more cookbooks. What I'm about to do today is blow their market to pieces because when you learn how to cook, it never matters what you cook. And this empowers people. The problem that I see with so many of my students online is that they let the recipe send them to the grocery store to buy the ingredients that the recipe commands. What if we flip this upside down? What if you were able to create recipes from the ingredients that you already have? Isn't this the way grandma cooked? So the five ingredients that you need, do you think one of them, oh my, this was a full, <laughs> This was a full bottle of wine when, when I got, I need some for the cooking. Here. We expect uh, one of the ingredients to be wine. I have some chicken today, I have some mushrooms, I have some goat cheese, but I'm going to admit to you, I'm not talking about ingredients. I'm not talking about food ingredients. I'm really talking about elements. Elements of cooking that will enable you to cook absolutely anything and absolutely everything. And they go like this, food, time, flavor, method, meal. Food, time, flavor, method, meal. Food, time, flavor, method, meal. This is how I cook my meals every night of the week. And the first thing is food. What food do I have? Right? Grandma was the best cook because she just threw things together. Well, this proverbial throwing of food was cooking by method, not recipe. I am cooking with the ingredients that I have and creating a recipe from it rather than going to shop for ingredients because the recipe commands. The next thing is flavor. What's that flavor in my mouth? How do, do I want this to be a Mexican dish? Do I want it to be a French dish? Do I want it to be creamy? Do I want it to be sour? Do I want it to be I'm in control? Versus going to search for a recipe when you have to relearn cooking every single night. The time is the third one. How much time do I have? Do you need to put a quick meal together? Can you do the slow crock pot thing all day long? Can you stew something? Well, every cooking method takes a different amount of time. And then it comes down to the method. And it's all about the method. Because if I have a lot of time, I can make a stew or braise something. If I don't have a lot of time, I'm going to saute. You have endless dinner ideas when you cook by method rather than cooking by recipes. I told you the five ingredients that you really need to cook absolutely anything and everything are food, time, flavor, method, and meal is the last one. How do I make this into a meal is basically what it is. Would I add rice to it? Would I add noodles? Would it be mashed potatoes? Would it be beans? Would it be vegetables? Would it be... Well, each of these things has a method to it as well. There are 1,500 varieties of rice. And there are basically three ways to cook rice. That makes 4,500 different ways to cook rice. So each of these little tidbits, it's not hard, it's not complicated, but once you know the secrets that chefs know, once you know the how to do it, you never have to worry about the what to do it to. That's my basic message today. Empower yourself with basic cooking school skills. Figure out the food you want, how much time you have, the flavor you want to accomplish, the method that you will use, and the other accoutrement of making it a meal. I thank you very much, everyone, for your time and attention today. Cook without recipes. Live without rules. Good night, everyone. Thank you.